Former Vice President of US warns Putin won't stop at Ukraine. Former Vice President Mike Pence, a possible 2024 Republican presidential candidate, denounced his own party's apologists for Russian President Vladimir Putin while delivering a full-throated call for the US to ramp up its support for Ukraine. Pence, who served in the White House for four years under former President Donald Trump, did not call out any of his fellow Republicans by name, but he suggested that his criticism targeted GOP leaders. While some in my party have taken a somewhat different view, let me be clear, there can be no room in the leadership of the Republican Party for apologists for Putin, Pence said. There can only be room for champions of freedom. If we surrender to the siren song of those in this country who argue that America has no interest in freedom's cause, history teaches we may soon send our own into harm's way, Pence said later in the speech. He also took a shot at President Joe Biden's administration for being too hesitant to provide Ukraine with the supplies it needs to keep up the fight. History teaches that he who hesitates is lost, Pence said. The former vice president's barbs came in a speech marking the one-year anniversary of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the largest and bloodiest military conflict in Europe since World War II. Pence, speaking at the University of Texas at Austin's Clements Center for National Security, urged the US and its allies to work with increased speed to inflict economic pain on Putin and his allies until he relents and pulls out of Ukraine. He also called for America to accelerate the pace of military provisions to Kyiv and continue providing ample humanitarian assistance to the millions of people who have been caught up in the brutal conflict. I would say anyone that thinks that Vladimir Putin will stop at Ukraine is wrong, Pence told in response to comments made by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who earlier this week criticized United States President Joe Biden's visit to Ukraine. The governor told that Moscow poses no threat to other countries, Washington included, as Russia has been really wounded.